All right, what is going on, YouTube people? We are here at the convention center, getting ready to head in for day two. This is Saturday. This will be the busiest day here. Uh, I'm down here about an hour, probably an hour and a half before the show floor opens. It's a little bit before 8.30. I could get in at 8.30. Their line is already forming inside for the show attendees for today. First order business of the day, CGC booth. Dropped off that book for a reholder yesterday. Supposed to be done end of day. Uh, it's not even entered into the system yet. Checked again this morning. Still showing that that order basically doesn't even exist other than it's on my packing slip. So we're going to go talk with them. From a books perspective, we moved on from X-Men 1. It's not happening. Uh, we are going to look for a X-Men 94, around a 9-0, ideally. Maybe an ASM 50, maybe an ASM 29. Uh, maybe some other X-Men stuff just to kind of fill in some gaps that I have in the long-term goal of the run that I'm putting together. So we're going to head on into the show, get the lay of the land, and talk to CGC first thing, and we'll give a little update after we talk to them. All right, we got an update from the CGC folks. You can kind of see them right back there. Booth is already very busy, uh, quite a line already. So uh, CGC, the wonderful company that they are, on the front page of their website, it says $40, end of day, reholder. At the TV at their booth, $40, end of day, reholder. I talked to their wonderful representative, very nice lady. She goes, oh, it's end of show, not end of day. That's a mistake. Huh. Maybe update your stuff. So I'm not here tomorrow, so if it's not done today, they will ship it back to me at essentially reduced rate, basically free shipping back. Uh, just annoying. I'm just annoyed uh, because the expectation was is that I would walk out of here with it. It's just a reholder. It's not like the biggest deal in the world, but just don't advertise that you're doing end of day when it's actually end of show. I would have actually paid the extra money to have it done to guarantee end of day if that was the case because the whole reason I did this was not have to deal with the shipping aspect of it. But is what it is. Now we got it to show floor and find some books. Uh, we found Dusty Buns here. Woo. He was trying Woo. to figure out how to work Instagram. It took him about 25 minutes. <laughs> we had to hold yeah. off on recording. Yeah, I'm getting a whole tutorial on how to use Instagram thanks to, to Rob here. Yeah. We were just at the short box booth right behind us. I may have found an X-Men 1. We'll see. And an X-Men 94. Uh, Dustin's being a bad friend and encouraging me to spend all my money. <laughs> Threatening to go buy it out from underneath me and all the dirty tactics that you would expect from uh, Sports Card Dad, a.k.a. What's your other channel? I don't even remember. Collectibles, Dad. Yeah. Make collect sure to subscribe. Yeah, like, like don't. and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah, don't. Yeah. All right, another little quick update. So, Sharpbox has an X Men 1 and a 1 5. Uh, the spine is a little jacked up on it. Uh, but the color looks great. Staples are attached. Everything, you know, looks good. There's a little bit of a tear, but it's a 1.5, so you expect that stuff. But it's white pages. They also have an Expo 94 and an 8.0 in white pages. They're at 4,200 sticker on the 1, and they're at, I think, 950 on the 8.0. You probably saw it in the video clip. So I'm going to make a run at getting them packaged together and see what they could do. They're on consignment, so they're not their books. So we'll have to double check some stuff, but that's where we're at. All right, next update. It's a big one. So they went and checked their numbers. They offered me 4,800 for the pair. An X-Men 115 white pages and an X-Men 94 white pages. So we pulled the trigger on it. It's done. The deal is done. They're secure. They're in my bag in the back. Uh, we'll do it up close unboxing reveal video once I get back home, but X-Men 1 is secured. The Grail is checked off. We got a nice little starter level copy. Pick that up and a 94, which is also a pretty big key book uh, for 4,800 for the pair. Very, very happy right now. We picked up a couple of Dan DeSantos signed cards today at Heroes Con. He was doing a signing. I brought my Kitty Pride purple out of 99 and my Gwen What If out of 399 to have him sign. And he did a tremendous job on the signatures on these. 
with the color match ink. All right, we are back here on the home front, kind of putting a cap on this. I didn't record any video closing out the show on Saturday. I was so jacked that the X-Men 1 happened and then just kind of lost track of time and the day. And there's also a CGC update. So I'm actually tacking this section on. It is now Monday evening. I am home and have been home for a full day. I'll do a full show pickups video separately. So the last thing you saw in the vlog was the Dan DeSantos autographs, which were absolutely fantastic. I could not be more thrilled with the way that those turned out. Hung out with Dustin a little bit more. We kind of roamed around the show. And then that kind of wrapped up the day. Now, at the very beginning of that video, you heard me discuss the CGC stuff. By the time Saturday ended, the order did show up in the system, but it was still in like grading slash quality control or whatever. So woke up Sunday morning and initially the plan was, was to get up and head straight home. It was Father's Day. It's a seven hour drive home and my parents were having the family up. Then long story short, uh... The family was not able to make it up to my parents. They live about an hour away. My parents had to go down there, which completely eliminated me then from making anything because it would have been an extra hour drive on top and we were already running a little bit late. So once that happened, and at this point in time, the book had not popped up yet. The show floor opened at 9.30 a.m. for vendors, 10.30 a.m. for VIP, and 11 a.m. for regular ticket holders. I decided to walk over to the show for a couple hours. I said, well, we have no need to rush back now, so I guess I'll go into the show for a couple hours, hoping that the book would pop. Stayed in the show. I basically did one full walkthrough of the show before I went out the door. Uh, the book never popped. I didn't go over and talk to CGC. Their line was a mile long. The booth was super hectic. Probably people like myself feeling the same way. Uh, I did make one more pickup, of course. Uh, yeah, I went in. There was an expensive Sunday to walk around. Uh, I ended up picking up a New Mutants 87, first appearance of Cable, in a CGC 98. Uh, the main reason why I grabbed it is because the color is absolutely pops on it. I don't even have a photo of it or anything yet. It was a very last-minute pickup as I was walking out the door to go hop in the car. My wife was kind enough to load the car up and then basically pick me up at the convention center, even though we were only a couple blocks away. Uh, but I snagged it. The color is absolutely great on it. Like I said, you'll kind of see it in a full pickups video uh, that I'll do sometime later this week. So get home Monday, shoot CGC an email first thing Monday morning saying like, hey, what's, you know, what is going on with this? They are basically the stuff that they didn't get to is going back to Florida and will be expedited and then shipped to me. I should not be charged shipping for it. Customer service rep said, if I am, to let them know. So, you know, it's gonna turn out about as best as it could possibly be, assuming that everything gets back in one piece. The main thing I wanted to avoid was shipping. It's not a terribly expensive book. It's a first appearance of Gambit. It's like six, 700 bucks. The problem is, is I despise the way CGC ships. They use FedEx, which isn't necessarily the problem. The problem is, is that they don't let you manage the delivery. You cannot change the delivery to a pickup station. PSA, you can. They allow you to reroute the delivery. I have a FedEx distribution center about 15 minutes from me. I usually reroute my orders there. That one, they usually get delivered way earlier. And then two, you just walk into the office and grab it. No one has to be home to sign it. Nothing sitting on the front porch. CGC, for whatever reason, the way that they use FedEx does not let you reroute. Someone has to be home. It's not the worst thing in the world. Actually, it depends. It depends on when this book comes. Usually someone's home, but it's just a pain in the butt that I would rather not deal with. I just almost always reroute this stuff. I hate dealing with CGC shipping. It's the most annoying thing in the world. It's like this for cards and comics. It's 2024 CGC. Let me reroute the, I get you don't want a digital door tag sign, perfectly fine, 
but let me reroute it to the actual FedEx shipping center. Guess what? That's safer. It doesn't have to get on a final delivery truck. Ugh, all right. That's just me. The whole CGC process was very frustrating. They clearly bit off more than they can chew with their first on-site grading out to shoot. And I get that. The I can only imagine how many people did not get books. Judging by, I poked around on social a little bit. It seems like basically unless you were paying through the nose for a full walkthrough service, which was three hours and was super expensive was about the only way you were getting books back same day. And even some of that case was bleeding into the next day. Almost all the end of day stuff was bleeding into the next day. If you even got it back at all. Now, keep in mind, the show started Friday. I dropped mine off Friday morning, basically as the show doors were opening. The only people to drop off before me were dealers that dropped off on Thursday. So I dropped off a one book reholder Friday morning, and mine was not done by Sunday. Think about how many other books got dropped off for a reholder the whole day Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that did not get done. That is a lot of stuff they are probably bringing back to ship back to people. So that whole situation kind of annoyed me, but overall it was an absolutely fantastic trip. Got to see some old faces, got to meet some new faces, got to hang out with Dustin, got to hang out with some of my other friends, some of the Marvel card guys, some dealers that I know, some CGC facilitators that I know. I, it was just overall, it was an absolutely fantastic trip. And everyone that I interacted with was super great. This is a fantastic show and I could not recommend it enough. So once again, we will do a full haul video, but the X-Men one is secure. We picked up some other big key books, got some cool autographs. It's just a fantastic show. Had a great time, great food city, whole nine yards. That's all I got for this one. Catch boys and girls on the next one. Peace.